I'm sure it comes as no surprise, but we are back out here on Reventuli Coast in Early Access once again, and I wanted to kind of try to focus on land animals once again. On stream on Friday, we did a bunch of waterfowl hunting, and I wanted to kind of go around and look for things like raccoon dog, some of the other ptarmigan species, grouse species that we haven't shot yet, and just kind of see what we can find. There's a lot of this map that we have yet to explore. And that certainly didn't take long. Our first raccoon dog out here today, a level four, so not all that special. Kind of a tough angle with the 243, but I think we got a lung in there. So hopefully we can go and kind of see all that did. Is that another one? There's a whole bunch in here. That one looks a little bit different. Level five for that guy. Figures a much better angle. Not nearly as good a shot. Definitely more of like a gray color for him. And uh, I don't think we got a lung on that follow up either, but definitely it will be enough to take him down. So let's kind of compare the fur types. The first one I thought was much more of a brown color. Got birds going over. It is amazing on this map. It's rarely is there nothing happening at all, but light brown for our level four. 5.6, obviously well shy of gold. But yeah, right in that back part of the left lung. Kind of tough to do that, and I'll be honest, a lot of that was luck. As for the other, and again, we can't just click on a track and look at the map and see what the fur type is without disturb veg, which I think overall is a good thing. We won't find out till we actually get there. Much more of like a gray color for him. And he is a gray for the fur type, 6.7. Would have been a silver if not for the poor shooting. And they are scored by their weight, so I'm going to guess based on the weights 8 to 10 or maybe 9 to 11, depending on how they do that, is going to be the max weight estimate. Good to know what to look for. What a odd looking pose where we took that shot. But anyway, glad we got a couple. And I think, yeah, there are still probably several others around here. Tarmigan, without a doubt, make it pretty tough because we do have to shoot those out of the air to get the proper score. That one fortunately waited to flush. There was a female in there. It must have flushed from 90 meters away. There was no shot at getting that with the shotgun, but I heard the male warning call, so I wanted to continue going. And of course, it is just a silver. Diamond is 772. And I guess, again, they're scored by weight. So looking for a weight estimate up to somewhere in the area of 0.8 kg. I really hope in the future, maybe we could see like a more accurate... Uh, track info box. I don't know if we can find one of the other Tarmigan tracks. I know it went this way. I think it's this right here. So we get 0 kg from that. And when we see that, we can open the map and get the exact estimate, 0.62 to 0.72, which I guess for that female would be bigger than the male we shot. But it would be nice if that info popped up on the little info box for the track. I'm hoping to see that in the future. The more bird species we get, quail, ptarmigan, hazel grouse, I believe, fall into this category as well. When it just says 0 kg, it doesn't help you much until you actually open the map, and I think it would be good to get to a point where that's not necessary for every single track. But in the meantime, it's good to have so many species that that starts to become a, a thing to look forward to. Another first for us, a mountain hare, and I actually grabbed the 22 truncated ammo today. That was one thing I forgot to talk about in the previous video. It's a new 22 ammo type that has way better penetration. I think I have both ammo types so we can actually compare the ammo stats. So the old hollow points are five penetration and 10 expansion. The truncated are 17 penetration, but one expansion. I'm not exactly sure as the game is now where the extra penetration helps anything. I think we could reach a point down the road where if we have a class zero animal that requires a vital hit, then the truncated ammo becomes automatically the best choice because you always want that extra penetration should you get a weird angle or anything to reach in to a lung. We actually hit that in the skull. Not bad though, that model is really, really nice. I like the, the white rings around the eyes. Looks really, really good, light gray for that fur type. But anyway, I'm pretty confident in saying I, I don't think I'm missing anything. All the class one animals are like any shot is fine. You don't have to hit a vital. So I, I'm not exactly sure right now what the, the main purpose of it is, but I'm sure eventually 
it'll become a little more necessary. All kinds of bugs at this lake though, including another pretty decent one. Of course, we shot the diamond in our first video, but we'll go ahead and hit that guy as well. One thing that I'm kind of thinking of with this map, because there's so much incentive to run around and hunt things like the hare that we just shot, or the many species of ptarmigan, grouse, even capercaillie, I think we're very often going to be covering a lot of ground. And when these opportunities arise to shoot a whitetail buck and get a respawn, I think we ought to take it. It could very well happen that we could stumble into a great one from never really grinding. I think that would be kind of a dream situation to not grind for one and have that ultimate surprise of spotting one. So if we continue to, to shoot the bucks when we get the chance, maybe that is something that could come true down the road. But as for this guy, a max of 245. I think probably a 230s buck if I was looking at that correctly. 235 indeed. Not half bad, a couple of really good bucks out here on Reventuli Coast so far. Oh! What the heck? There's a raccoon dog down in here somewhere. And I wanted to go and look for that. What fur type is that? I don't know if that's a cinnamon. It looks really, really bright compared to that red-brown that we got. 26 to 29 is the estimate you would expect. He is just slowing down over there, so... He might stand up. I think... There's a shot right in through there, into the heart with the 303. What on earth? I can't wait to go and see what that fur type was. That looked really, really cool. A level 5 female in there with it. Not half bad. There's so much going on down in here. Here's the raccoon dog track. I read in their thing, see if we can go and find it real quick, in the codex, if you go to wildlife, there is information about literally every animal in the game, and I was reading for the raccoon dog, I think kind of like red fox, somewhere in here. I thought it said about them traveling together. I guess it just would have been this, raccoon dogs live in mated pairs or small familiar groups, which is probably sort of what we saw at the beginning with all those, so I assumed there could be a male there. And instead, we get a legendary brown bear with a really cool looking fur type, fingers crossed for that guy. Diamond at 27.9, it is a cinnamon. What a cool looking bear, heart and double lung at 156 meters with the 303. You know, I didn't get to talk about that. He's barely a diamond, so he's not bigger than the one that we have. And I can't even remember what fur type we have in the lodge. Now, much like the black bear with Mississippi, the old brown bear in our trophy lodges should have gotten the upgrade of the fur and stuff, so we'll have to go and compare that, but I can't believe that just came running out of there. That was the last thing I expected to see. For what it's worth, by the way, if anybody is curious, there is also a male down here, so I guess they can travel together. That or maybe just a coincidence because there's a feed zone right back there where we were standing when we spotted the level 9 brown bear, but we know based on the other ones that's not a big one. So we'll kind of just continue through here. Now we know that's not going to be all that special, but if we get the chance to see this ptarmigan flush, I kind of want to see how it works. I don't know if they're similar to pheasants. I mean, what we didn't see there was any of that kind of slowing to almost a stop before they went to flush. I hear another. They are almost impossible not only to see in the trees, but to even determine a direction in which they're moving to try to figure out where to look. That happens all the time. I'll hear them while running around, try to figure out where they are, and we end up not seeing them. But I was curious if they have effectively the same kind of behavior as quail and pheasants, and I mean, maybe they do, but to me that actually seemed a little bit different. No. Way. A melanistic lynx. Resting on the road, what the heck? I never would have seen it. I mean, it would have been hidden in the shadows, but it's in the wide open, I can't believe that. Man, I don't know. I want to say 24 point something is gold. I really hope that's a gold. It's a level 6, so it has a chance. Oh my goodness. What is happening on this map? I can't believe that. 
we're gonna scoot into exactly 150 just to ensure they'll have a good clean shot. I mean, the, the amount of things that had to go right to not spook him. The wind is bad. Had we come through here 40 or 50 meters further southeast, good chance he spooks and we never would have seen him. I mentioned in the last video, I've largely been ignoring the lynx calls. I think though we're gonna go with this. I don't want him to end up spooking. Make sure we have the 243. I'll try to put this right in the lungs. Oh my god, I can't believe that. So, over... How long has Medved been out? Almost four years, I want to say. Or almost five years. We've had two piebald female lynx. That has been the extent of our rare lynx. A melanistic just chilling here on Reventuli Coast. On the road, I mean, that's amazing that it was just sitting there in the wide open. I am crossing everything I've got, trying to willpower something into this becoming a gold, because the estimate obviously is not great. Now, I wonder though, they're not a true act species, but I guess neither are alligators. The reason I say that is because some rares just always score at the top of their estimate, and maybe for some reason lynx are in that category, but look at that. That is amazing, and am I wrong? Or have lynx gotten a little bit of a touch-up as well? I know the brown bear did. Maybe the lynx have too? Let's see what we have. A gold melanistic lynx, you are kidding me. Gold was 23.78, so... Did, did they change that? It used to be the exact same as brown bear. 27.60 was diamond. I don't know what gold was then. Uh... I don't think I care. <laughs> Look at that. I can't believe it. So there are new multi mounts with Reventuli Coast, but I don't know what to do. The reason I don't know what to do is I try to have at least one diamond of everything displayed in the lodge. So the multi mount for Eurasian Lynx is one male and one female. I really want to do the melanistic and a piebald female in that multi-mount, but I don't know where to put a diamond yet. We're gonna have to find a spot. Technically, we have the two piebald females. We could do two of them. I'm in utter shock. I can't believe that. For it to be sitting on the road is unbelievable. I'm genuinely certain that I taxidermized that, but I think we're gonna leave the video here, A, because we've had a solid hunt and I wanna go see that link in the lodge, but B, just in case I was maybe distracted and I didn't actually tax it, I wanna go and confirm that we actually have it here, but that, I can't believe it. I really can't. So first stop is the brown bear and the one that we had before was also a cinnamon. So I think probably we leave it here. It is a lot bigger at 28.6. Ends up being the same fur type, so effectively we see the exact same thing if we were to put our new one here, but I can't get over just how much better the brown bear look. And I said in the past, I always thought the brown bear models before were pretty solid, but these are so much better. I really think they did a fantastic job. And then we gotta go across the hall for our lynx. I really don't know what to do. The other option, I guess, and I think I still want him in the multi-mount, but we've got in through here our little room with, I think, an extra diamond bobcat? Or maybe that's the only one we have at those displayed. We've got our mellow bobcat from, I think, the day after our great one. I'm just not sure. I'm gonna have to look at this. We'll have to see what happens going forward with the new multi-mounts, but for now it was a pretty easy decision. Took down a diamond gray fox from here. We do have another diamond gray fox displayed in the lodge, so that is our old diamond links. And then as for the multi-mount with the links, I did go ahead and do the Mela and the piebald, and the weird thing was, I know that I taxed both piebalds, because we just shot the other one not that long ago. And yet, I did not see it in my trophy manager, so there was no option to do the two multi-mounts even if we wanted, but that is just so cool. I can't believe 
that was waiting on us out on Red and Truly. We shot the Diamond Brown Bear, and I was super stoked to see, you know, the new model, the Diamond in the Harvest screen, and this Mellow Lynx just took over and absolutely made the hunt. That is amazing. I can't believe that just happened. What a start on Rev and Truly Coast from a Diamond Whitetail to a Diamond Brown Bear to a Melanistic Gold Lynx. That was something that when they mentioned that Lynx drink time was going to be removed, or Lynx drink zones, I should maybe say, were going to be removed, I kind of thought it would never happen. I did a bit of grinding for Lynx when looking for a rare female, and that was kind of it. So to get a Melanistic out there on Revan Dooley and for it to be a gold is just insane. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.